Did you know that you can update your Uconnect radio with just a USB and the internet? Well today, I'm going to show you how. Welcome back. My name is Brandon here with Jeep Informant. And today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Uconnect radio using just a USB and the internet access. Now for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that down below and make sure you click the bell icon so you don't miss any new Jeep information. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to check for updates, but today I'm going to show you step by step on how to actually update the radio when the update becomes available. Now there are three radios that are eligible for updating via USB. That is the 5.0 Uconnect, the 7.0 Uconnect, and the large 8.4 Uconnect. Now I'd be curious to know how many of you actually knew that you could update your own radio with USB. Cast your vote up here in the top right corner. Now there's three ways that you can update the radio. We have an over the air update, we have a USB update, and you can take it to the dealership and they use a USB. Now as of today, April the 4th, which is actually Jeep 4x4 day, hey check my video out up here on Jeep 4x4 day. I give you a cool little tip to go four wheeling. There is an update for the 5.0 Uconnect radio system. Now, unfortunately, it's only available for dealers right now and will be coming shortly for the customers on the Drive Uconnect website. I'm going to be using a different VIN number to give you an example of what it would look like when you do download it and it's available. All right, so let's take it on over to the computer. So go to your search engine and type in driveuconnect.com. So going to hit this, going to take us to the website. We're going to click on support. Then we're going to click software updates. Then we're going to type in our full 17 character VIN number. Then we're going to click check for updates. Okay, this right here is where it's going to look a little bit different from the Jeep Wrangler because I'm currently using a 2017 charger for this demonstration purposes. Now the only thing that you're going to see different is the alpha numerical numbers here that uh, represent this specific update. Now let's go ahead and click the get started button. Now this is going to take us to another page here where we have two options to download it. And what's very important is not to choose option one. Do not choose option one. This is a very complicated process and gives you more steps than you need to go through. Okay, make sure that you choose option two here. This is the easier way. Let's go ahead and click option two, view available updates. That's going to take us to another page here that says download update. Now before we click on download update, as you can see right here, there is detailed instructions on how to download this update. I'm currently using a Mac, so if it differs from yours, you might want to click this instruction page to help you along the way. Now if we go ahead and click download update, you can see down in the bottom left hand corner, the download is started. Now I am using Google Chrome. You may be using a different web browser, but basically it's going to be downloaded to the downloads folder. Now, here's where you're going to view the progress of the download. Now, depending upon your internet speed, it could take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. Now, I have fast forwarded this, so if you want to go ahead and click on the download, that's going to start the extraction of the files. Now, once the files are extracted, you will want to move the extracted files to your USB drive. Now your USB drive must be free and clear of any data. There cannot be nothing on it and has to be a minimum of 16 gigabytes. Now this will take a few minutes for the data to be copied over to the USB drive. Now once that is finished we want to go to the USB that we're using and verify that the data is in there. And again, there can be nothing else on this jump drive or it will not work. Only these files that were extracted. Now, once you've verified that the files are on the USB drive, let's go ahead and remove it and let's go out to the Jeep. Now, in the new Jeep Wrangler, there are multiple USB ports. Here in this media center, there is the auxiliary port, the micro USB, and the standard USB. As you can see here by the little number one, this is the number one USB port. Now if you move to the center console and lift the secondary latch up, you will see the number two USB port. Now for the USB update, the number one media hub center USB port must be used. 
The number two USB port is only for charging. There's no communications that go to this port. Now another very important step is to have the engine running while you're doing the update. And the reason behind that is that the 2018 Jeep Wrangler has the keyless go feature. Now if the key is in the run position and the engine's not running, after 20 minutes, the ignition will cycle to the off position. Now this update can take a little bit longer than 20 minutes, so that can be a problem. That's why the over the air update can also be a problem. Now once you plug in the USB into the media center, the radio will display the old version, new version, and the amount of time that it will take to do this update. Now you want to click on the yes button if you want to go ahead and update it. Now I did put this on a time lapse and it took somewhere around 28 minutes total to update the radio. Now there's some key things that you don't want to do while this is updating. You don't want to cycle the key, turn the engine off, you know, it's preferably just sitting in the driveway, running, doing this update. If you're going driving down the road or you're driving somewhere, you know, there may be that chance that you get to where you're going and you accidentally cut it off. Now, this goes the same for the over-the-air update. You can't turn that off during the middle of it either. So be careful either way you do it. Now that the radio is completely finished, you can see here that it's going to reboot itself. So once it goes to the reboot, then it's back to normal and uh, your radio is completely up to date. Well, guys, we're all finished here. Your radio is up to date. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's very knowledgeable to you. So I want to thank you again for watching and have a great day. And hopefully you're smarter about your Jeep now than you was when you started.